G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, doing YouTube, one of the good parts about doing the videos is the comments you get and the, yeah, the, the interaction with uh, viewers. You get uh, comments from all over the world and you realise that people are all basically the same. Everybody's out to have a uh, as good a time as they can and enjoy themselves and most people are positive have a good attitude and, you know, occasionally I'll get a bit of negative feedback, but not very often. Anyway, the other day I put up a video on uh, using collets and I got a reply back from one guy saying, oh, your, uh, your tail stock's low. I saw the, the drill jump and I saw the, uh, the, the spot drill jump and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, out of alignment. Now, okay, if that guy sees that or thinks he sees that, maybe that's the case. So anyway, I'm going to check my uh, tail stock alignment now. I haven't done it for 20 to 30 years, and it was fine when I got the lay, and I can't imagine things are worn to any degree. And I'll just do a quick and dirty... I won't even bother taking the chuck off. I mean, if it's out, the chuck's going to make it even worse. Uh, you know, scroll chucks are notoriously um, inaccurate. So I'll, I'll just stick a, I'll stick a dead sander in there. We'll bring up the tail stock and we'll give it the old razor blade test and just see whether this guy's blowing smoke out of his ass or whether actually he knows what he's talking about. So let's do it. Okay, I've used a dead centre in the quill and I've also got the quill extended to magnify any error and as you can see she's spot on. It's virtually as good as you're going to get. I, was, I can't retract the, uh, the quill because I haven't got enough carriage travel to uh, get in any closer. But anyway, as I showed you, that's just with the scroll chuck you know that they're not going to be as accurate as in the spindle, so now we'll, we'll move on and we'll use the spindle, and uh, I'll try it with the live centre as well, and you'll see that there won't be any difference whether you use a dead centre or a live centre, it doesn't really matter. Using a live centre is actually a better thing because it will magnify any run out in the tail stop, because it's longer. So, yeah, let's do that now. Well, I had to hunt up the original dead centre that came with this lathe. And you can see how often I use it. It's still wrapped up in the original plastic. Oh, how was that grab you? Yeah, we'll take it out and we'll use it. Well, I have used it because I've had got a hole in the, in the packet. So she's done her job. I remember I used this originally to test the alignment and it was 100% A-OK. -okay. There she goes. Now we'll, we'll bring up our tail stop and we'll give it the infamous razor blade test once again. There she goes. Get this out of the way. Bingo. Perfecto. As I totally expected. No problem there whatsoever. And do it with it retracted. A bit. So there you go folks, that's how you check your tail stock alignment. It, uh, it's got to be right on both um, axes, otherwise that's horizontal and vertical, otherwise it's going to screw around. And this is the same technique as you use to find um, centre point on a curved surface. If you ever want to drill into a piece of curved pipe and your drill's coming in onto your curved pipe, well actually as an example, if you want to drill down into the top of that curved section there, you put a razor blade on it, 
and bring your drill tip down on, onto it, and unless you're dead centre, it will pu push it one way or the other on the curvature. So there's a good tip for you, a handy tip. I do that all the time. You don't have to use a razor blade, you can just use a, a, uh, a packing shim or anything flat, but that's a good way to find top dead centre on a curved surface. OK, well that's it for me, to show you that don't believe everything in the comments. Quite often, you'll get a lunchtime expert in there that knows more than you do or I do, and yeah, just be careful what you read. OK, see you next time. Cheers.